Happy New Year, my friends and not yet friends. Welcome back to Mary's Test Kitchen and the first food vlog of the year. Where, as always, I'm sharing my tasty vegan meals. But things are changing. Three things, actually, because well, I've changed, and I'll tell you all about it. But first, coffee. What's different is now I'm strictly drinking it black in the morning. But that's not really the change. This is brand new camera. New year, new me, new camera. If you didn't know already, this is what I used to shoot all my videos on. This is the camera with which I recorded all my videos from beginning to maybe a month ago. You may or may not have noticed. I was hoping someone would notice the quality difference, but no one has commented. Uh, let me know how you like the current picture and the audio and everything. While I finish my coffee, I guess. Finish, that's a lie. It's gonna take me hours to get through this coffee. I drink really slow. Uh, and it will last me until actual breakfast, which is not until noon, which makes it lunch probably. Brunch, so I guess I'll see you then. I'm still testing my gluten-free keto bread recipe, so I'm gonna mix up a single-sized portion of my latest formula. Into the microwave. It's just the most efficient way to test a small quantity even though my final version will be oven baked. At least, that's the plan. Before I taste test that though, I have to break my fast properly. Those who know already know what I always take every single morning. Well, it's not really morning, it's like afternoon by now. With my Athletic Greens AG1, thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring the video today. Uh, they are actually, I just puffed myself. Shake it before you drink it, hold on. I'm not trying to be a hipster right now. The mason jar cup, but I haven't done the dishes. Full disclosure. And then it goes down the hatch. It is good. I love it so much. It's an all-in-one nutritional supplement, which sounds really boring, but it actually has changed my life. I actually feel better after drinking it, number one, like almost immediately. It has vitamins and minerals that are specifically put together to help you with your energy, your recovery. The antioxidants and adaptogens and superfoods in there help to fight free radical damage. You know, that's good for anti-aging. The probiotics, the prebiotics, and natural enzymes, they're designed to work together to improve your gut health and aid in digestion, which helps you absorb all the nutrients that are in, in this. It's just a really desi well-designed supplement. And I trust it also. I've talked about my health journey, my story so many times. I'm gonna leave a link up here if you wanna check it out. But long story short, like, my life has changed. My health has turned around. Like if you had told me this time last year that I would be working full time, that I would not be experiencing my chronic pain symptoms, I would just have energy and I would be like all over two new sports, not, I mean, to do any sports whatsoever. That was just not in my wheelhouse. So anyways, long, long, long story short. Um, I really highly recommend it. If you were thinking about starting a new healthy habit this year uh, that you can stick to, that's easy, that tastes good, that you crave every single morning, that you don't actually have to put effort in, click the link. This is your sign. Click the link, uh, either in the cards or in the description. Get it started. If you use my link, you will get two free gifts. You get, let, let me get it so I can show you. Okay, so you get two free gifts. Number one, which is, I think the most important thing is the vitamin D3 plus K2 drops. Now D3 and K2 together work better. So that's really important to get together. It comes in a oil form and it's like olive oil, I think, yeah. Uh, and don't worry, vegans, this is the vegan friendly version of D3. It's from Lycan. You pop like a drop or two in your mouth it, 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 it does taste like olive oil, so chase it. And that is up to a year's worth of immune boosting vitamin D. So really important stuff. I highly recommend it. If, if your outside looks anything like my outside, I'm talking uh, North America, Europe, you're not getting enough sun right now. So this is really important. 
for keeping our immune system healthy as well as a lot of other stuff like bone health and things like that and then you also get if you use my link purchase right now the five free travel packs and this is really handy I actually switched my subscription from the refillable pouches to the uh, travel packs when I was traveling this summer and they're so handy it just comes in a little pouch and you don't have to refrigerate it or anything. It's just so handy. If you are someone who is on the go, who travels for work or anything like that, this is just so great. You can see what it says right on the label. It's made in a TGA registered facility. It's NSF certified for sports. So what's on the label? It's not on this label, this label. <laughs> what's on the label is actually in the product because you know, supplements are so sketch. You really have to have third party testing in order to trust anything. So, you know, trust me. Uh, it's keto friendly, it's sugar free, it's vegan friendly, like it doesn't have any dairy or eggs or anything like that. There's no um, eggs, peanuts, no animal byproducts, no gluten, no dairy, no corn, no GMOs, no herbicides, pesticides, artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, no lactose, sucrose, or dextrose. And that's pretty important because some of those natural or no calorie sweeteners are terrible for us. Not that I sometimes don't take, keep using them, sometimes, on occasion. I'm not perfect. So for those of us who are not perfect, those of us who still want to live a high energy, healthy life, feel like we're setting ourselves up for the day, highly recommend, can't recommend enough. Like I said, literally changed my life. Uh, check them out, check out the website, you know, read all the ingredients, see all the benefits, see if it's right for you, et cetera, et cetera. But chances are it is right. <laughs> Um, I'm going to down this and then I'm going to finish making my breakfast, I mean brunch, it's going to be an event. I try to make it like pretty nice and stuff every day because it's what you deserve. I'm looking at myself in the uh, viewfinder. It's what I deserve. It's also what you deserve. Okay. Anyways, let's get on with it. It's much denser than I'd like, but I like that it's well cooked. My last test had a bit more water and was fluffier, mm. but it was a tiny bit mm, undercooked. So I'll just have to find something in between. Regardless, this will make good toast. And to go with that, I want to make a scramble with soaked pumpkin seeds. Some viewers mentioned this idea and this is going to be my first time trying it. In the comments, it sounded like you just cooked the seed puree whole, but I'm going to strip the fiber out and use it for something else. And this is the creamy pumpkin milk from 200 grams of dry hulled pumpkin seeds after soaking, blending and separating the pulp. Over medium high heat, I add a little olive oil. Not because it's necessary, but a force of habit, really. And then added the pumpkin seed milk. A little turmeric for color, but not too much because the flavor can easily become overpowering. Next time, I'm just gonna add less water to the blender because now we're just waiting for all this liquid to evaporate. Looks pretty good, right? Now to toast my gluten-free keto bun. And I randomly decided to throw in cherry tomatoes. Toast is looking toasty, tomatoes looking roasty. And then inspiration struck. Might be able to use this kind of thing as a meat replacement in like a veggie lasagna or something like that. Look how good that looks. It's pretty good, right?
lunch is served. I'm really excited to dig in. This kind of took forever because of the filming, so not gonna lie, it's a little bit on the cold side. But I haven't actually tasted this with all the seasoning in and everything, so this is the first bite with a little bit of my pumpkin seed bacon bits. Pumpkin pulp bacon bits, I should say. You know what I forgot? Kalanamak. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little all over. Yep. Tastes like eggs. I'm not that confident in the keto bread. As you can see, looking quite dense, looking more like a cornbread. Yeah, looking like cornbread. <laughs> like here, I'll show you the squish of it. So it's quite dense, you see. So my last test, I didn't film it sadly, but my last test was a lot better. I just put, the only difference was more water. So I wanted to see if the less water would be better. The answer is no. Still is good. Got the leftover pumpkin seed bacon bits in there. Doesn't taste like bacon bits, but it does taste good. Cause it tastes like pumpkin, bacon flavored pumpkin seeds. That's what it tastes like, which is I guess what it is. I want to focus more on a whole food plant based sort of direction, not totally whole food, mind you, because tofu is not a whole food. I would consider it minimally processed and so therefore totally fine. This channel first blew up when I posted a boat vegan Boston cream donuts, right? It sounded impossible, I had to veganize it. And the algorithm responded. In fact, the algorithm awards me every time I put out something that is basically the most unhealthy food you can have, but it's vegan, so. Which I think for a lot of people is totally fine. It's totally fine to make these as treats occasionally. It's not a big deal. However, when I'm the one who is testing like a million times because I'm paranoid that it's not good enough, um, when I have all this stuff in my house, it just hasn't been helpful for me. And as I've learned over the last couple of years, I really don't do well with refined starches. I don't do well with dense starches because of the chronic condition that I have. And for a while there, I really did try to make a balance between what's healthy for me and what does well in the channel. But frankly, it comes down to I'm too selfish. I don't want to be in pain anymore. I can't have that temptation staring me in the face like calling me from the fridge or the freezer. So big change coming to Mary's Test Kitchen, which you probably already noticed. I've already just kind of turned the ship around. We're concentrating on more nutritious foods. And for now, we are still figuring out if we can tofuify like everything on earth ever. And then trying our darndest to turn gluten-free keto ingredients into a bread-like product that tastes, I wouldn't say like bread because I don't think it's possible, but will we get super close. Will we make something that is bread like that functions as bread, but maybe even tastes better? We'll find out. We'll find out. It's just one of those things. It's not necessary in a diet. It's, necess it's not necessary for you. It's not necessary for me. Well, it might be necessary for you. I don't know, but it's not necessary for me to have those kind of products, but like, it's fun. It's fun to figure it out. Eh? Later we'll reconvene for dinner and I will tell you what, uh, is there another change? I think that was it for the changes, mainly. I feel like there was one more thing. Oh yeah, I'll just tell you now, instead of making you wait for after dinner, um, we're not doing sugar on this channel. I, you may recall, I made some Christmas gifts the other day. They weren't even for me. And I was just going to abstain. But yes, dried fruit will even trigger my flare ups. Last change. Um, and then, so coming up for dinner, we're gonna make something creamy and delicious and rich and it will seem like it has dairy in it and it will seem like it has flour in it but it won't it's gonna be so good so excited peace see you at dinner just kidding apparently yesterday i was not hungry for the rest of the day and when i say apparently it's because i'm also a little bit shocked I had everything prepared. We were going to make this creamy cauliflower alfredo with zucchini noodles. It, I make it all the time. It's 
way, it, it actually is way better than what it sounds like. I mean, I don't care if you're vegan or keto or not, it was gonna be so good. But I literally was so full after that breakfast and for the rest of the day, I literally didn't think about food. And then by the time it was like pretty late, I was still not hungry. I had everything, I had all the ingredients even pre-portioned and measured and everything ready to go because for what I eat in the days, those days filming wise can get a little hairy. I almost was gonna film it for you today, but like I can't put what I didn't eat in a day in a what I eat in a day vlog. So I decided to leave it out because otherwise, I don't know, that feels really inauthentic. Uh, however, at the same time, when you click on one of these videos, you expect to see a full day's worth of food. And I guess that was my full day, even though it's quite unusual and quite odd. But I did um, end up last night looking at the calorie counts for um, pumpkin seeds and I knew it was really nutrient dense food but I uh, didn't really think about how much. Um, so 100 grams of pumpkin seeds is like over 500 calories and it has a lot of protein and fat in it. And I had 200 grams of pumpkin seeds. So without calculating anything else, we're almost at my maintenance <laughs> for that day, you know, for, the, for that kind of sedentary day where I'm sitting at my desk doing a lot of desk work. That is just the reality of the situation. So sometimes that is just how life goes. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to rethink doing what I eat in a day vlogs because if that's all I'm eating in a day, it's not very interesting, is it? I mean, I guess you can let me know if you think it's interesting or not. Uh, but going forward, I promise interest. In fact, I am really fully confident that we are gonna be able to make that keto gluten-free bread actually more fluffy and um, perfect that recipe in the oven. I'm gonna work on testing that today. Oh, this is Chester, by the way. Do you see the little paw? He's, he's, he's sleeping. Wait, let me just... Ah! Oh, I scared him. I just woke him up. But before I go, let me remind you to check out AG1. If you were thinking about that, just go for it. You'll get two free gifts. Get that started. Start the healthy habit for this year. You will not regret it. I mean, I started around this time last year and I am so thankful I did. Um, and I'm so thankful for you who's still watching, even though... This is an entirely, very, extremely odd what an eat in a day vlog. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I will um, go work on that keto, vegan, gluten-free bread recipe now. So, awkwardly. Bye for now! Oh, this is for Holly, who asked about Riles. Just loves to be held like a baby. Don't you, Riles? Mm-hmm. <laughs>